everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a decluttering of my clothes. I have this big rail here where I'm gonna put all the things I no longer want on the rail. And I've got two, I'm gonna go through everything to see what I don't need and what I need. And mostly it's clothes, handbags, and some gym kit as well. And I have a lot of it. So let's get started. And in this video, I'm basically trying to adopt a more of a minimalist approach to life and looking at everything I don't need or where I have two of something. And I really say I wear one piece, but I don't wear the other. So then I'm trying to kind of get rid of kind of all that stuff because I found that it deteriorates in quality and um, it can sometimes get moths in it or whatever. By the way, I do not have any moths here, but just in case they do come. So let's get started with the wardrobe. And this is mostly all coats. So all I wanna do is literally go one by one. Now this is a Sandro jumper, which I bought recently. So I'm gonna keep that. And I have a Lululemon kind of rain jacket here. So I'm gonna keep that too, I don't wanna get rid of it. And then we have another Lululemon coat, which is, it's pretty like old. I've had it for, I've had it for about three years and I wear it a lot when I go to the park for a walk, but I'm gonna keep it. And then I recently went on a crazy Pangaea kind of haul and I have this, it's actually still brand new. I haven't taken the tag off it. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep it. Then I have this. This is a Lululemon jacket right here. And to be honest, I don't really like the color of it. I'm not really a fan of gray. I think gray is probably one of my least favorite colors. Now this on one of the secondhand um, market platforms. Tip is that if you have items of clothing that you know you do not really like that much and you're probably not gonna wear, my advice is to sell it straight away or give it away. And of course, selling would be my first option if I think it has any value to it because a lot of clothes, again, can deteriorate as they sit in your wardrobe. Like for example, can you see that mark right there? I do not remember that mark being there at all. And all of a sudden it's here, I'm like, why? So this I'm getting rid of. Then I have this Burberry jacket and I've had this Burberry jacket for quite some time. And I really love the details, the red buttons on it. And it's, I wouldn't say it's a crop jacket, but it is it is waist focused. So I'm gonna keep that, that, this is like a timeless piece. Again, most of the clothing I have is very much timeless. Well, at least I think it is. I try and buy it in that style. And then I have this Max Mara coat, which I've had for a long time and it's remained in beautiful condition. So keeping that. Then I recently found this beauty in a charity shop in London and it's a Carven um, leather jacket. It's a 100% real leather jacket. So I think I'm definitely keeping this. The color of it is just amazing. It goes well in winter. It depends of course how cold your winters get, uh, but it's definitely a spring, autumn or even summer depending on how not hot your summers are jacket. So I'm definitely keeping this. Oh, I knew I'll probably be getting rid of this at some point. So this is, oh, there we go. So this is a big brown wool coat. And to be honest, I think it's too big for me. It's a size small, uh, medium. And actually, can you see already? There's some marks on it right there. Now, actually, this is the first time I'm seeing this on there. It looks like it's moth bites. And I didn't even notice that before. And I probably wouldn't have noticed it if that hanger didn't fall down. And this doesn't really do anything for me. Doesn't do anything to the waist, doesn't do anything to the hips, doesn't do anything to the butt, doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna get rid of it. And I don't feel sexy in it. And I'm not saying we have to feel sexy in every piece, but you wanna feel good in the clothes that you wear. And this makes me feel like frumpy. That's right, that, that's the good word, frumpy. I don't want to feel frumpy in any of my clothes. And Frumpy, I suppose, is just a feeling like it's like very baggy weighing you down. So this I am definitely selling. Then I bought this quite a long time ago. This is a Lululemon, I suppose kind of, it's not a jacket, but it's a cardigan with a zip. And to be honest, I've actually worn it about two times and I haven't worn this for literally two years. And I'm thinking, you know what, if I haven't worn it for two years, I'm probably not gonna get around to it. 
and this is like a visibility um, Nike and again I've never worn this I think maybe only once so you know what I'm just gonna get rid of it because chances are I'm probably not gonna be wearing it moving on I have these two jackets on here so this is a Massimo Ducci jacket and I really like it it's it's not I, I, I like some to have some waist definition or if I don't have the waist definition I like them to be straight as opposed to then having some definition here around the hips and this does it at the waist and I think it's a really nice jacket so I'm keeping that and then I have this Lululemon jacket again as you can see I do like Lululemon clothing but this I am thinking in terms of functionality so you have the puffiness on half of the sleeve and half of the body but on here as you can see this is just fabric it's so thin it's like a it's like a coat cardigan and on the back as well you have just right here the some of the goose down I suppose and it's so thin and here again it's just such a thin cardigan and I know it might have some sort of design in the background why it's good for example I don't know you might sweat more on the bottom area than on the upper area of your back I don't know but to be honest it doesn't do much for me so this is going on sale now this is a petite but whole raincoat and I really love it because let's face it it rains a lot in England it probably rains a lot in many countries so this is always going to come in handy and I love the color right because I'm not really a fan of like I have some black pieces but I don't want to have everything dark in my wardrobe I like color and then let's see what else we have oh this is a sweaty betty coat again it's a raincoat but it's a bit like this when it's I don't know actually I think I will keep it because it goes well with jeans so I'm gonna keep this and underneath it I have this sweaty betty jumper which I absolutely love because of the tiger on there so I'm definitely keeping that then we have this Max Mara silk blouse and to be honest I'm not really a blouse type of girl um, I did wear, buy it for when I needed a blouse for somewhere but I'm just gonna sell it and at the moment it is in excellent condition so I think it's a good time to sell it this is a really chunky Zara jumper and I bought it in the sale it's a size large they didn't have a small or a medium so I thought oh well I'm just gonna buy it because it was in a really good price in the sale but now actually when I put it on again I feel really frumpy in it so it's just gonna go on sale and then I have this Legends blouse which I've had for absolutely ages I love it you can wear, either wear it on its own or like on top like a cardigan in summer so definitely keep in that then I have this Givenchy dress Givenchy dress so I will I bought this approximately approximately seven years ago I'm gonna get it out so you can see it it's like that it's 100% silk really beautiful and elegant literally wore it only once for, for a New Year's party and then it's got this really beautiful uh, detail at the back um, where's the Givenchy bit right there so it's got all of that it's got all the labels still attached to it and I've even got the original tags and I think I even have the store receipt that's right if you can keep a lot of your store receipts especially for expensive items like this because if you ever are selling it there's so many fakes right now online that it, it's not as easy I suppose trying to make a sale that's where where you're trying to sell something expensive just because then people are like is it real or not but one thing with this dress which really annoyed me is can you see that little bit there that puts the button together it literally fell off like pulled off I don't know how it happened and I've literally worn this only once and I'm like should I sell it should I not um to be honest the problem is I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of money for this this dress was over 1,000 pounds why why did I spend that on Jim and she that doesn't have very good resale value okay forget about it so I think I would probably only get 100 pounds for it and I'm thinking you know what it's not worth it so I am going to keep it and it's very much a timeless dress that I can wear for many, many different occasions. So we're keeping it. And then 
I bought this Montclair jacket recently off Versatier Collective and it was literally only about £80. I absolutely love it. Again, it's a really nice piece. You can fit a jumper underneath it, so it's like spring, autumn. So I'm keeping that. And then I have this. I think I thought this video would take 20 minutes, but it actually looks like it's taking a bit longer. Okay, so this is a Max Mara kind of super long cardigan. 75% wool, 25% cashmere. And to be honest, I really do like it, but I haven't worn it for approximately two years now. And I'm thinking, do I want it anymore or not? Is it, to be honest, I think I'm gonna sell it because again, it makes me look frumpy. So I had a period where a lot of the clothes that I had, what some of my friends would say was they made me look much older than I am. So one of my best friends said this makes this made me look like I was 45. You're dressing way too old for your age. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And plus, I'm not a fan of grey. Then we have a little jacket right over here. It's so it's been dry cleaned. It's like that. It's Max Mara. I think it's yeah, it's it's Max Mara jacket. You know, it's a really, really nice jacket. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. And I'm just thinking, should I keep it? The Max Mara label came off. It's a, I literally had it dry cleaned in 2019. It's a size UK four. And I'm just not sure, should I keep it or not? It might come in handy. It's a bit too formal, but you know what? To be honest, I don't think I'm going to get a lot of resale value for this. So I am going to keep it, even though I haven't worn it for ages. But then again, we had a global pandemic where you couldn't really wear stuff for anywhere really now this is another lulu lemon jacket and you know what i really do like the color it's very lightweight um i do have another very similar lulu lemon which is like a big puffer jacket but i think i'm gonna keep this one just because i think i will get some use out of it so we have this maxmara uh, black jacket and i actually do wear this quite a lot it's like that really nice, simple piece, classic, will last forever, as long as the moths don't eat it. I'm so scared of moths because you have so many of them. And I always put like lots of different uh, moss stuff inside. We have a beautiful, a crease piece right over here. So this is a cardigan. It's black and gray on one side. And I think you can wear it reversible on the other side. And these are the colors on the other side. Now I'm going to leave it because of that. Oh, it's also got this really nice detail right there. Similarly, because I think I can pair it with so many different outfits. Very much making more conscious choices about the kind of clothing I'm buying. Because more or less, I've always had that very classical style. But now I'm trying to buy clothes where I can, I can put it together with so many other pieces. So the fact that this was reversible, I was so happy. Okay, so this is another Maxmara coat. It's like that. Oh, let's stretch it out. Um, it's got the HUD right there. I can't remember what these things are meant to be for. And then, uh, yeah, it's just like, it's 100% cashmere. It feels amazing on. I'm thinking I am going to sell it just because I don't really get any use out of it. And I do have some similar pieces, even like the... This one that you've seen there, right there, Maxmara one, it's very much similar to this one. And again, if I've got something very similar, I don't want to keep that. So that's going on sale. Woo, my, my real, it's like, oh, no, on a roller coaster. This jacket I've had for probably about seven years. It's from a brand called VSP, which is not really that well known. I think it's like a German brand. And then I love this. It's like a mixture of leather and sheepskin. This goes so well with everything. It's amazing. It's suede on the inside. It's so nice. So I'm definitely keeping that. Oh, we have this Claudia Perle, Perle, Perlot, Perle jacket. Now this is like, yeah, a jacket. It's in navy and black. And to be honest, I think it's not really, it's, I can't remember, but I've, I've tried wearing this many times and every it's like i put my outfit together and i think this is gonna go great with it and then i put it on i'm like just doesn't really do it because i'm looking at the mirror right there just doesn't really do it so i'm gonna put this on sale 
And also I've noticed, I don't know if you can see on the fabric, but so much stuff just always sticks to it. Like this has literally just been in my wardrobe and it, you know, sometimes clothes can't attract dust or whatever. I'm gonna have a coffee. Ooh. This is my second coffee of the day. I was trying not to get dirty. Oh, this is a Maje ma ma piece. It's like, it's again waist, up to the waist. I do like it and I do have some really nice photos in it. But you know when you're just like, I like it, but I don't like it. Or I like the style, but I don't like the color. I'm not too sure on the color. So for that reason, I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm getting rid of it. And then let's see what else we have. Oh, Burberry. So this will be another big coat. Let's see it. I have so many coats. And just so you know, this is by far not the first decluttering that I have ever done. I have done so many of them. And it's like, yeah, you, you just need to keep on going until you have very little left. So this is a black Burberry coat. I have worn this probably around 15 times. Of course, it's, it is a really nice coat. I purchased it over 10 years ago. It's lasted very well. However, I do have a missing button right here because when I was taking it off, I undid all the buttons, but I was doing it, not in the dark, but it was like outside at like 9 p.m. in the evening and it was dark and I didn't see the very last button, so I just pulled it and then I lost the button and then the button just rolled somewhere on the street. There was lots of cars, so I couldn't retrieve my button. And then I didn't have a spare button either. So to be honest, I think I am gonna sell it because it's very, it's, it's a military style coat and it just feels really chunky. Again, something really formal. And I'm just trying to formal. I just want relaxed, casual. So this is going before it gets in any worse condition. And I don't know if you can see, but the fabric to me looks like it's been worn more than it actually has. And I really don't like it when that happens to clothes. So we are gonna get rid of it. And then let's see what else I have. Oh, this is another Burberry jacket. Now this is a burgundy color. It's a size UK 10 and it is a little bit big for me, even though I do then like it because I can put like a chunky jumper underneath to keep me warm because I get cold really easily but I think I'm gonna get rid of this. And also it has like a little spill right there, which is just, it just puts me off. I don't like it. And yeah, I just don't like the style of it anymore. I bought this again over 10 years ago. So it's time to give it new life and make somebody else happy with it. And let's see. Oh, this is a Legends jacket. And initially I liked it because I thought it's pretty casual, everything. It's a nice material, but then you know what, I don't really like the color. It's like a zebra print, I suppose. I'm, I'm not a fan. And again, it's not even so much black, it's more on the gray side. So getting rid of that. Oh, I have this Joseph coat, which my best friend convinced me to buy when we were looking in the shops um, in January sales. And this was approximately eight years ago now. And she said, it looks absolutely amazing on you. It was such a small size. It was, a, well actually, yeah, it was 36, that is a small size but it fits me perfectly and I've had this for such a long time and I do really like the fit of it it keeps me warm but I just feel like it's deteriorated quite a bit there I don't know if you can see maybe that's from my handbag rubbing there and to be honest I'm not really a fan of the color so I am gonna get rid of that and then oh this is a dress Sophian dress I don't know if you know the label gonna just I'm showing you all the labels so you can see Safine it's a size medium I bought it because they didn't have a size small so it's like only buy your actual size don't think you're gonna either grow into it or or grow grow into it or whatever from small to large try and always get your size and if they don't have it just don't buy it and again this dress is so long I thought I would wear it to the office with like boots or something but you know what at the end I just thought you know what it doesn't make me feel pretty beautiful whatsoever in it. So we're getting rid of that. Now, let's see what else we've got. So I have a couple of trainers in here. These are both Brunelli or Cuccinelli trainers. And as you can see, I've worn these quite a bit. They've even ripped up the side there. And to be honest, I'm not happy that they've done that considering how much money they were. I love these for the spring, for the autumn, because they're such a nice color. 
and I would actually sell these but I don't think anybody's gonna buy them with the amount of holes that they have so I might as well just wear them and then I bought myself some Nike trainers which I think I've only worn once love the white but I'm gonna wait for summer and then in here I have some black boots and they are of course quite used dirty soles and they are LK Ben. they're like half welly and then this bit is leather and they have fur coating uh, like fox fur on the inside and look what's happened so inside I had I can't remember what it could have been like a skip and move or something like that right next to them for probably about a year I've never gotten them out and this is what's happened it's like oh it's like so frustrating so I am gonna clean them and then I'm gonna sell them because to be honest I really don't like wellies my feet just get sweaty in them so this is going on sale I'm gonna leave this on the bed let's see what else we've got these are handbags so this is a Tory Burch handbag which I've had for quite a long time I'm gonna keep that this is essential wrap and I bought this literally only recently and I found it in a charity shop for only 20 pounds I love it I think it's so funky I'm gonna keep it this is a Marge little bag which I think is super cute I'm gonna keep that and then I found this little cool thing in a charity shop and I'm definitely gonna keep that. I love it for the like for the beach somewhere when you're on holiday because you can just fit so much inside. I don't think it's designer at all, even though it does have like a, a brand in there and stuff. I guess it was just bought from like um, a street vendor somewhere. So, and I bought it in a charity shop, so I'm keeping that. Then I bought this Lululemon bag because it was a really good size and I love these bags when you put them on like that. But to be honest, I don't really like the color because it's so like, you know when you put it like that it's like it's it's too focused on you and I don't like that so I am going to sell this and then I have this Margie red bag which I absolutely love I think the tassels and everything give it like, like make it funky especially if your outfit is pretty like simple it's not like and I think this just adds a bit of character to your outfit and I love the color it just goes so well with like black white almost I think so many colors so we're keeping that and this is a lululemon red backpack which i use quite often especially on holiday i'm keeping that this is a present i got from my daughter and i'm keeping that this is a really nice seat again so this is like one of those lululemon bags and i absolutely love it and i saw it in lululemon i'm like what would you like to buy mommy for christmas because she loves to get me a present and but of course i would like to guide her to the right section of where to get me the present and for like a reasonable price so if we compare these two and i bought this at the time when they didn't have this yet i was like why because this one as you can see just looks so much nicer right on the like on the waist or even if you're wearing it on the side so definitely keeping this one it's brand new i haven't even i got this just for christmas and the price was so good 34 pounds so i'm definitely keeping this one because it's it's got sentimental value and it's actually so pretty as well so let's put all of that back Okay, we're gonna put it all back. Look at that magic. If only we could tidy up that quick in real life. Now we have finished that wardrobe. So we very much started with half of it there. And now look, I have decluttered exactly half. Yay! I'm so, so happy and that I am gonna be trying to sell all of this because actually there is quite a lot of money on this rail. How much money I spent, for example, this Burberry jacket was over 1,000 pounds and it would be just silly to say, oh, I'm, I'm like kind of getting rid of it. It's like, well, let's of course appreciate our work, um, our work that we initially put in to make the money to then buy that jacket. So when you are kind of decluttering and everything, always look at the ways that you could resell this cloth clothing. And then once you have the money, put it to something more useful. So yes, that is definitely a point I wanted to mention. And then we are moving on to this huge piece. Okay, I think I'm gonna go through, I suppose, every little bit one by one with you. I hope it's not gonna be boring. I hope you're enjoying it. This is again a mixture of high-end designer, like Burberry designer or, and so forth. And, um, and then like high street brands as well. And I do even have some Chanel in there. So let's explore. Now, this shirt I literally bought last summer. Now, this is a man's shirt. I found it in a charity shop. The brand is this. Fr Frisca ball curry so it's it's a quite a really like 
popular brand for I suppose like linen clothing. It's expensive, it'll be probably around 250 quid in the shop, pounds, 250 pounds. But I purchased it for literally 10 pounds. I found it in a charity shop and I thought, you know what, I don't care if it's for men because I can just put it over me, like over a bikini. But now I'm thinking, you know what, I'm not really making the best use out of it, so I'm gonna sell it. So that's on there. Then let's see. I have this Mange leather skirt. There it is. And Again, I found this in a charity shop a really long time ago and I just thought I will wear it at some point. I did not want, like, want to leave it because I thought, oh, it's so nice, it's leather and I've never worn it in my life and I've had it for over two years. So you know what? It's time to say adios, goodbye skirt. Then I recently bought myself some of these Lululemon trousers and um, I'm never, I haven't worn them yet, but I have a big trip planned for March this year which will require me to be on an airplane for quite a long time and I thought you know what these are gonna go perfect with them I do have a lot of lululemon leggings and stuff but I didn't want like leggings like really tight leggings on my skin on a long flight so I decided you know what these are gonna be perfect for it so keeping that and then we have this Walford uh, bodysuit I suppose it's brand new I haven't worn it yet it's, it's got that open back bit. What really puts me off about an open back is that how am I meant to wear a bra with it? Now, I'm not really a fan of like the nipples being like showing too much and I can even get cold in warm places. So they're like, boom, hello. And I don't want like to be like walking in like, hello. So I'm not sure whether I should keep this or not, but you know what, I am gonna keep it because hopefully I'll get some wear out of it. I love this jumper. Now, I am very big on buying good fabrics, even if it's from Zara. If I buy something from Zara, I'm looking at the um, composition label. So these jeans I bought from Zara a year ago. When I was buying them, I was making sure in their jeans, so most likely they are going to be cotton. But so I'm very big on um, label uh, materials, but this is polyester but it's just I love the colors of it so much it looks so nice on it's so photogenic actually for the YouTube video I would I should have probably worn this that looks better than the white I think but I'm not gonna get rid of it but rarely would I buy polyester and then I bought this for myself and if you have children and you you like to shop at Zara you would have probably noticed this in the kids section in Zara it is for 10 years and look it was only 8.95 euros and I bought this in Spain because if you're buying it in London a lot or in England a lot of the prices tend to be like if you see it for basically 9 euros in Spain you would see this for like 10 pounds in England so it's always like more expensive and I love all their shirts, their designs like that. I don't know if they make me look stupid because I'm wearing them or whatever, but I don't really care what others think of my clothes choices as long as I'm happy. And when I put this on, this just makes me happy, this design. I don't know, I love it. It's a design that uplifts my mood. So I haven't got around to wearing this one because I have exactly one, exactly the same in this. So this has still got its tags on. This like, I, I would wear this in the summer. And then let's see. Okay, who likes cats? This is an awesome cat dress. If you like cats and you like this dress, leave a comment below, say that you are subscribed, that you like cats, that you like the color red, and you would like it combined on a dress. And I'm more than happy to send you this Carl Lagerfeld dress. It only comes with a little niche. So it's like that, it's got Carl Lagerfeld, Lagerfeld written on the back, but I bought this in the kids section. This dress is for 14 years old up to a height of 156 centimeters. Now I am 10 centimeters bigger than that, but it looks absolutely fine on me. The sleeves, they look absolutely fine. They're not like, you know, they look just about enough without them looking too short. And I bought this in TK Maxx, which, which is a UK store. So in America, it'll be the equivalent of TJ Maxx. In Canada, it'll be Winners or Marshalls. So I bought that there for literally 20 pounds. I saw it and I thought, I can't give that up. But I, I, I bought it during a different, slightly different period in my life. I'm not sure how often I'm gonna wear it anymore now. So the, I, I have promised 
if you like the color red if you love cats and if you want that combination combined and you are more or less this size which will probably be like five foot five um, quite petite frame then I am more than happy to send you this leave a comment below but I can't get rid of it because how can you get rid of it it's so cute it's got a cat on there it's like no I can't get rid of it even if I'm never gonna wear it then we have this again I did a huge pangaya haul and I have that video on my channel and I will link that video below but I bought probably around 20 pangaya pieces now I know pangaya is expensive it's like one of these new upcoming no, I wouldn't say upcoming because it's kind of already come and it's the brands um, uh, that uses it's very much focused on like reusable recycling and all of that so this is brand new you can see I haven't worn it this is a size extra extra small but again because their clothing is so oversized and I bought this because I thought it would look really good for YouTube videos because it's a bright color but I just haven't got around to me uh, wearing it yet so I'm gonna keep that and then I have this Gymshark hoodie. It's a crop hoodie and I love the detail on the back. It's kind of open right there on the back. So it, it's not, it's like nice for sometimes and not nice for other times. So just gotta find the right time to wear it, but I'm not gonna get rid of that. I love the color. And then I have this, oh, I love this. So this is like a going out, hello top. This is 100% silk. It's a beautiful champagne color. It's kind of got that little open back area there but you can still squeeze in a strapless bra. So I would wear a bra right there and the bra would literally just sit underneath there so you wouldn't see it. And this is from the designer 3.1 Philip Lim. And I absolutely love this. I do, I, I must admit, the last time I wore this was about five years ago for my birthday. And uh, I would have worn it sooner, but I just haven't had the occasion to do so. So I'm keeping that. And then what else? This is just like really like summer tops that to be honest just won't get much resale value from it so I might as well just wear them on the beach especially when I'm on a family holiday with kids and like with other moms as kids and it sometimes can get messy. This is a Roland Moret top which I really love. I found this in a charity shop and it wasn't cheap. I paid £50 for it. Not necessarily everything that you buy in charity shops is going to be super super cheap. Sometimes it's even cheaper to go to the sale of the actual brand so this was uh, 50 or 60 pounds and it's a size UK 10 I usually wear an 8 but this looks amazing and I just love the color of it it is quite low down there but it still looks fine so definitely keeping that oh this is a really tough one okay this is Margie and it's a size two, even if it was a size one, it would still be baggy. And I'm obviously the t-shirts, I'm happy for them to be baggy. I love the butterfly, but now most of my jeans are high-waisted, like you can't, my belly button is there and the jeans are there. So once I'm wearing this shirt, as you can see, it goes almost down to there. So I need to tuck this amount of shirt in. And what that does is it just like, you're basically tucking it in like that. And then you've got all of that tucked in like, just, to me I don't like the way that looks and it's yeah so to be honest I did think about cutting this part off and then because I really love the butterfly design I think it's so nice but then I haven't got around it so maybe cut it off or just sell it I don't know what do you think I think I might just try and alter it okay I'm gonna try and alter it don't get rid of it don't get rid of it and then I have two skirts right over here you see I am utilizing hangers because I live in the center of London and like any big cosmopolitan metropolitan capital city you don't get enough you don't get a lot for for space so I have these two skirts this is a brand new Club Monaco skirt that I haven't got around to wearing yet and I actually I, I, I didn't spend that much money on it if like we have to be smart with our money choices and as a millennial generation not spend all our money just on clothes I did find this in a charity shop again I absolutely love thrifting and you'll see those videos on my channel and I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear it or not again it's like you know when it's always cloudy outside and it's raining and you're like should I wear this should I not wear this and then I've got this white skirt as well and I don't even know where the skirt is from because like, again I thrifted it but it's got like made in Italy and all that it looks nice so again the skirt is like that I think I'm gonna leave it because it might be nice for like the spring months because it's still a little bit cold so I'm gonna leave those two skirts because I gotta give it a shot gotta give it a go to wear them now let's see what next 
This is a sass and bide dress. I think this is an Australian designer, I can't remember. And I think this, I actually bought this dress for either Christmas or New Year's. And I thought I'll wear it for one of those two, but I didn't end up wearing it for either of them because for one of them, I was away on holiday in the hot country and I booked the flights within less than 24 hours of departure. So I'm like, okay, no, I'm not gonna wear it. But you know what, I'm gonna leave it for next year because it's such a timeless thing that I think you'll be fine to wear this in four years time and it's gonna look fine. So we're leaving that. Then I have this leather skirt from Claudia Poulet. And you know what, I do like it, but it just makes me feel chunky in it. And I don't like feeling chunky, especially after doing a workout in the morning when I was like so tired, like the all these exercises, like, oh my God, you know what? If I have to do so many exercises, I don't want them clothes to make me feel like I didn't even do any exercise. So I'm gonna get rid of this look. There we go, two leather skirts. Okay. And then I recently bought this from H&M bodysuit. It was an impulsive buy. I'm not really a big person of showing too much cleavage. Very happy with my cleavage, but I don't, I'm not, I don't know. I don't really like showing them so much. I quite like the more high, high neck bits, I suppose. But I, I, but I do like taking myself out of my comfort zone, but in a comfortable, still safe way. So I bought this. I haven't had an occasion to wear it, but we have to make occasions for ourselves in our lives. It's like, why haven't got an occasion? Make the occasion to wear it. And then I have this Club Monaco dress. It's like a little black dress and it's scalloped at the shoulders and at the breast area. It's really, really nice. Again, haven't made myself the occasion yet to wear it. And then we have this Misa or Misa Los, in, from Los Angeles designer dress. There's the label. Google it, I absolutely love their designs. They are so, so nice. Of course, not every single one of them, but I love most of their designs and it looks so nice on. I love wearing this dress and I wear it for more, like in this, so I've had this dress for about three years. Again, I thrifted the dress, but the actual prices for the dresses are like about $300, but I found it for like 10 pounds. I was like, yes, I found you. And I didn't even know about the designer until Googling it and seeing, oh, it's so nice. And of course, because I'm in England, you get a lot more of the European designers coming over here or the UK based designers. You get less of LA based, like American based designers unless they're like, you know, have this huge international presence. But brands like Misa, they don't have an international presence in terms of they'll have a store here in London, they'll have one in Munich, they'll have ones like, you know, scattered all over Europe. So you don't come across these brands so often, but they are really, really nice. So I'm so happy with this. I would wear this in the summer, in the evenings, especially for my arms because mosquitoes love to bite my arms and I don't want to look like I've got so many spots. It looks like you're diseased. So I would put like spray, mosquito spray on my legs and then have my arms covered. Now this is a really beautiful dress. It's from an English designer called Amelia Wickstead. Now this, here you go, so you can see it right there. Now this designer is very much favored by like uh, Princess Kate, so Princess Catherine, Kate Middleton, Prince William's wife, future queen. So you will quite often see her in this design dress, but I must admit this dress is actually quite short on me. It's like, it's like that, it's really short. So you wouldn't see Kate wearing something that short. And I will probably keep this dress. It's like my theta kind of London dress, nice. And then, Got this Marge dress. Now this is quite an old design. I've had this dress for at least eight years, but it looks amazing on the figure. It like grips everything right here. Then it goes out like that. It's just, you feel so sexy in this dress. And at the same time, again, all your arms are covered. You're not showing any breasts. It's all the way like to there. It's not really that short. So here's my knee and goes to approximately there. So it's not really that, that short. Like, you know, like what some people you see them wearing something really short. So it is concealing almost basically everything on your body. And most likely it's like a knitwear style dress. So you'll be wearing tights with it for the winter. So you won't be showing any bare skin, but it just looks so sexy on. I love it. So I am keeping it. Oh, hello. Now I've got two things hanging on here. I'll show the first one. This is like a Marge um, skirt and shorts. So you've got the shorts underneath. 
right there. Can you see them? And of course, I would wear this more for winter. And I, I wear, I, I put on a white turtleneck underneath this. So I'm, I'm gonna try and show the photo of it in this video so you can see the photo of how it looked like in it. And what I really loved about it is that if you are a mom, just because you're a mom doesn't mean you can't look good, you can't look hot, you can't, I don't know, dress, continue to dress the way you see you used to dress. But of course, as a mom, you have a brand new set of responsibilities. It's not all, it's not uh, your life changes. And what I really loved with this dress was that I could still wear something fairly short, but uh, um, when I sit down or where you are looking after your child, everything's not on show. So for example, if this did not have the shorts on and imagine you're sitting there and you don't have any shorts underneath, but your child drops something or you, you're tying their shoelaces or something. It's not easy trying to tie it like that. What you would do is you would split your legs. Most likely your child would stand between your legs and you're doing their coat or whatever, they're there. But then like, hello, we don't wanna be saying hello in that way, do we? But when you have shorts on, you can split your legs and it's more or less, I think, decent because you've got your shorts on. So it's like, yeah. But, and then you stand up and you've still got this nice short uh, dress on, I suppose, dress short. So I absolutely love this. Then I have this reformation, which is again, an American designer, sustainable designer. And this is a, not a jumpsuit. No, it is a jumpsuit because the play suit, this is essentially a play suit. And this is a jumpsuit. And it's got like a really long, um, what's it, V-neck um, front. And to be honest, I don't really like it. It's like too, too dark, like everywhere. I'm not really a fan of like long stuff anyway. So I am gonna sell this so we can put it right on there. I don't want it. And of course, I know so many people love reformation. So I'm sure ever, anybody will be happy to get their hands on. This is a Lululemon jacket, which I bought very recently. And it's really, really nice on. It's got that nice combination, like two tones of material. I do really like it and I literally found it in a charity shop for like 10 pounds so I'm keeping it and then my dear lovely mum bought me this I absolutely love it but I haven't had a chance to wear it yet because she bought me this in the winter and this is more of a summer piece but I just absolutely love the embro embrobrio embrodio I can't remember that word I don't often use it embro you know what I mean design absolutely love it like all these clover leaves heart stars i think it's so nice so it looks so nice for example say with these jeans and a white crop underneath so definitely keeping this this is a long champ blazer and it's got the long champ written on there i did thrift this again but inside you don't have long champ like the label was pulled off i don't know why got the care label there and everything and it's a mix of like it's got two shades navy and black and to be honest i have only worn this once and not for like anything like i could have worn something else that i've already had i just like, decided to put this on but i'm probably gonna struggle to sell it but at least it's got the long champ on the button so i'm gonna give it a go because if i haven't worn it for probably the last five years why am i keeping it why am i moving around with it it's just gonna deteriorate in quality oh again this is a kid zara fine that i love for myself what i often do is I buy my daughter some like say pieces and then I see something for myself I'm like I love it it's so funky I know a lot of the time the material in the kids section in Zara can be better than in the adult section of Zara so bought that for myself then I have this rag and bone thing which I bought for myself very recently in one of my charity shop videos which you can watch and you know what I do quite like it but I just don't really know what it will go well with so I've only worn it once and I didn't really feel that good in it, so goodbye. Then I have this, which is 100% cotton, and I found this in um, somewhere like in a shop in Spain. And to be honest, it's a size medium, it's a bit big for me, but because it was in such a good sale, I still bought it. So I might give this to my mum, or I might just continue, like wear it like a cardigan on top of a crop top. So we're gonna leave that. Then I have this little jacket from Zara, which I absolutely love, it goes so well. And I've had so many compliments on this jacket from just other women that are like, we love your jacket, where's it from? And a lot of the time they always think it's like some really high-end designer, but I'm like, 
it's Zara. And to be honest, as you can see from my wardrobe, I have a lot less of Zara than designer, but actually this one has had a lot of positive attention. And then, please don't judge me. Look at this. I don't know why I bought it. Okay, I do. I bought it because I thought it might look good on a YouTube video in terms of it grabs your, I think, attention. This whole Coca-Cola. And I found this in a charity shop for literally like £10. I thought it's worth it. It's from a brand called Pinkle, which is an Italian designer. Again, they're not cheap. For example, they're like Sandro prices or, for example, this top would probably be around £180. So what's that, like $280 for a top? So definitely not cheap. It's in pristine condition considering how delicate it is. It's laced throughout. You've got these gems all the way on there and absolutely nothing is falling off it. So if you can think of an awesome YouTube video I can do in this, let me know and I'm gonna wear it. And then moving on is this Pinko, again, so same designer, Pinko blouse. It's 100% silk and I thought I could wear it with like jeans or something tucked in. So I, again, I haven't made myself the occasion to wear it yet. So I'm gonna keep it until I do. Ooh, this is cool, I like this. So simple black shirt, looks like a man's oversized black shirt until we do this, rock and roll. And you know what, occasionally we need a bit of rock and roll in our life and I love it. I pair this with like jeans and I put this on top with like a little white top underneath. So I'm definitely keeping that. Then Pangaya, absolutely love this. Blue hoodie, excellent for traveling, keeping that. Then I have three of these Pangayas which I bought in my Pangaya haul. Haven't got around to wearing them, but I will do so. So I'm not getting rid of them just yet. And then we have, again, Pangaya, keeping that. And then I have this Philosophy jumper by Lorenzo Serafini for Philosophy. I love it, I've worn this many times. To be honest, I have gotten a little bit bored of it, but I think we will go through stages where we will be like, oh, actually, actually, I'm not bored of it anymore. It's like, you eat the same dessert every day. Or like, in my case, a croissant, which I've been having for the last month. And then you're like, I can't eat this anymore. My body doesn't want it. And then you stop, then you go back. So this is the reason I'm keeping it because once I become unbored, if that's the word, I will wear it. And then I have this little Uniqlo uh, wool uh, jumper I suppose it's very thin but to be honest I do not like wool on my bare skin it's itchy I'm like walking like itch itch so I'm gonna sell this so we're putting that on there and then I have these two lovely jumpers happy love the two emotions that we should have in our life and that we can give ourselves without anybody else's validation or need and of course it's nice to have it from the right people too and these are Zadik Voltaire and I absolutely love them. They're both 100% cashmere jumpers. And to be honest, if they didn't have the words love and happy, I probably would be quite neutral to them and be like, yep, that's a nice kind of jumper. But because they have those two words, I absolutely love them. So we are keeping them. And then I'm just gonna get these pieces out. So this is Club Monaco. I found this in a charity shop not too long ago. Love it, looks nice on. This is a Club Monaco again, 100% cashmere. Look at the back. It's so nice. I found this on Vinted and I bought it. And this is a piece that my mum um, got me. It's from Mango, MNG's at Mango. And it's just quite nice for the summer. It's like a cotton cardigan to wear. So we are keeping all of those. Oh, let's see how we're getting on. Oh, I should sure definitely like this side of the wardrobe more. Look how much is left. So I think we definitely have more left in the other. Um, we got rid of more in the other one. So, yeah, we have about that much left. Um, okay, where shall we proceed? Okay, let's pause this so the video just doesn't stop on its own because we've had so many, so much footage and then we shall continue. Okay, that was a nice little break because I had a glass of water and an apple to keep hydrated because I felt my voice was just going. So now we have done the real part of the wardrobe and I have this whole huge bit right up here to now do. So I'm just gonna get it all down and get your thoughts quickly on all of this. Whew. Okay, these are Spanx leggings. I absolutely love the brand Spanx because of the Sarah Blakely story behind it, female entrepreneurship at its finest. But to be honest, I think I am gonna get um, rid of these just because they are so, like they fit me 
but they are so tight and I know that is their purpose but lately my skin just doesn't want super tight stuff so goodbye I have these little trousers well they're not little they're just normal trousers from some Italian designer I don't know I, I thrifted them I'm gonna keep them because they don't grip on the body and they look good and then we have some Lululemon leggings and look so a friend of mine um, I washed one of her cardigans for her she was staying over and they had a little dog hair on it and she has a dog which is like lovely she has a lovely dog but look at my trousers look at the dog, dog hair all over I'm like why because like oh and then I have these page super skinny jeans again they are really tight but they're not as bad as the Spanx in terms of tightness and I'm not really that much fan of skinnies but I'm just gonna leave them anyway because at least skinny it's all gonna come back isn't it before like wide leg what we're wearing right now was like oh my god so awful and now they look so good now again and this is Sandro jeans they look so good on I bought them in the last year so we're leaving those then I have some Laurel Piano trousers like that they are a velvety material I would say they are like a grey navy shade and you know what I do like them but I would say they're more of a winter trouser and they are a little bit short on me so I would either have to like undo them right here to make them longer or I don't know to be honest I can't really be bothered with them I they are nice but I don't know you know when you just feel like there's just one piece of like a piece of clothing you know it's a lovely designer like like so so top designer but it just doesn't give you the same energy like it used to and I feel like with everything that we have it should give us some some energy if that makes sense these are Philip Lim trousers they are wide leg they are a bit more of my kind of Avril Lavigne definition of rocky style I suppose and I'm gonna keep them because they are so comfortable then I have these wide leg rag and bone jeans and then again look so good on they make your figure just really stand out then these are AG straight leg again they're really nice and they're not too too grippy so it's like they grip in the right places but then like they leave the legs alone they're not too like bad on the legs these are page jeans uh they are quite nice i quite like them because they're high-waisted they are skinny but they're just like that nice kind of they're nice skinny these are zara's that i bought last year when on holiday in spain so i'm definitely leaving those i love them what they're exactly they're exactly the same as this style right here but they are just in white so we are leaving that oh don't drop don't fall what else do we have over there okay what is this what is this Oh, I've been looking for these trousers for at least two months now. Look, these are Lululemon wide leg trousers. They look so good on. But look, see how important it is to like kind of try and look after your clothes. Because even though in there, I like I did dust initially before we putting all my clothes in, but they just get dusty. So of course, definitely keeping these. Found them, hooray. This is Zara. Uh, it's still brand new, haven't worn it. Medium shorts and to be honest i think they are going to be a bit too big for me because i am more or less of an extra small or like a small in zara so since they still have their tags on i can't you know what it's like if they've got the tags on it especially if they've got their tags on it and you are already like not sure about the piece you know it's not like the perfect fit or the fit it's not going to be as good as it possibly can be then you know what my advice is just sell it before it's like you take the tag off it you throw it in the bin then you wear it you'll probably maybe even like somehow pull the fabric somewhere and then you're like i knew it was crap i knew i didn't like it like no crap let's not use those words on youtube i knew i it wasn't gonna be for me but then i just still wore it i wish i didn't so you avoid those feelings just either don't buy it in the first place or just get rid of it now this is a wool jumper i do really like it so we're gonna leave that it's kind of my jumper it's like you can either wear this or put your heating on and wearing this is going to be cheaper than putting your heating on in the winter in England and then this is like a little nice Zara little jumper that I have so I'm gonna leave that it's just I'm still getting used out of it this is like a little H&M crop jumper which I haven't worn yet because I need to have even higher up jeans to wear it but I'm hoping to wear it soon and then let's see what else we have oh look this is just like little vest top and we're gonna waste your time with this 
this is Lee Boys, Lee Girls. I probably know that jumper. It's just a cotton jumper. So I'm leaving it. It's fine. These are like little Maxmara and this is a Zara little turtleneck. This is a Pangaya shirt, crop shirt. So I'm going to leave that. This is an All Saints crop jumper. And you know what? It has lost its color a little bit, but I think it will probably still sell. So I don't really like the gray. I know I'm being so annoying about the gray. There's occasional gray I do like, but you know what? I think I've had that for about seven years, if not more. So let's just get rid of it. Okay, what else do I have here? Oh, this is a Dolson Cabana blouse, silk, black. It is nice. Hmm, I don't know. You know what? I can't be bothered. I'm just gonna. You know when you're like, you look at it and you're like, straight away, I know what I'm gonna wear that with? Awesome, keep it. But when you look at it and you're like, hmm, what would I wear it with? What would I wear it with? And your mind is just blank. You know what? Just get rid of it. And this is not one of those moments where you have a blank mind now, but then you'll have a genius idea later. It's not, it's just get rid of it. This is a Marge skirt. I really do like it, but I, I did once bring this like on a winter holiday with me and I did have matching tops to go with it, but it just didn't look good with anything. No white body suits, I couldn't match it with anything. Even though the item on its own is absolutely lovely, I just didn't know what I could wear it with to make, it, to make me feel nice in it. So for that reason, goodbye. Then I have this nice Alexander Wang. Is it Alexander Wang? Yes, it is. Alexander Wang dress. It's like this brown suede and it's got like breast areas like that it's quite a long one as well so it goes below the knee it's very figure gripping and it's got that sweet effect i have only worn this once when i was in new york i went for a night out with friends and i wore this and i only realized this after when we had pictures taken in the nightclub just like you know your friends everything you're like you've got your friends and you meet new people there as well and then i noticed one little thing was that I had sweaty underarms and I was like, oh, I don't like the way that looks on the photo. And of course it's normal for us to have sweat. Let the sweat pour out, especially when we're doing a workout. But some fabrics show sweat a lot more than others, including this sweaty looking dress, even though it's not real sweet, it's got sweet effect. So you could like, it just didn't look nice. And I thought, you know what? I can't risk that happening again. And I wore this in 2019, just before the global pandemic. I was in New York. So we're gonna get rid of that. I'm just gonna put this down so you can continue seeing what I've got. And then I've got this, which I bought recently for, uh, for school mornings in the morning when you go and drop off your child at school. And I thought it looks quite nice because when, well, at least when you don't have to wear like something, just like put dolly shoes on and like pumps there you go i think it's quite nice um it's yeah it's theory size small it's quite long but you know what i like it i'm gonna leave it so this is kind of this is my mom dress so we're leaving that and then see this is just like an h&m jumper which kept me warm was walking around in spain then all of a sudden i got cold this is a sandro jumper i'm not sure if it's for a guy or not to be honest because the sizing just looks like it's for a guy but I do really love the kind of different colors in and all that and it keeps me warm. So I'm gonna leave that. Let's see, oh, there's so much. Oh, I love these jeans. So recently I've become really into the brands Redone by like a Redone Originals. And I just, these jeans just sit on so, so nicely. So I am definitely keeping those. And then, Wait, I just have a bunch more like Pangaya kind of clothing up here, which I think I'm just gonna leave. Oh, I wanna show you this one. I wore this in one of my videos. This is by Reformation Jeans, well, Reformation. And this is like these angels and it's um, viscose, the bra and the, so like cotton basically. And it's so, I think it's such a nice design. It's like stands out so nicely. And then I have this beautiful, oh, look what that, look what I keep in my wardrobe. This is to safeguard against moths. And I have lots of these devices in my wardrobe because I have had moth problems in the past and they are a nightmare. So I'm very cautious about that. This is a Club Monaco 100% cashmere jumper. 
I really love it. But the problem with this jumper is that can you see how chunky the arms are? So this would really actually only go well with that pink Montclair uh, coat that I showed you I had. But otherwise, yeah. And then let's see what else I have. Designer, um, what's it? Bras and knickers in here. Literally, look, I have never worn them. Bought them and I just never worn them. So these are like knickers and this is a bra to match. There is so much. This is a La Perla bra and look, can I just bring your attention? Does it look used? Look at all these bits on the La Perla bra. And this bra I bought from Harrods and it was really, ex well, I think it was too expensive for a bra, but I just bought it. It was 200 something pounds. I wish I never spent that much money on a bra. Why? And then it just looks so used, even though I've hardly ever worn them. There's the La Perla bit on it right there. And then what else do I have? Oh, I have a corset in here. Now I saw this really expensive brand. I didn't know that corsets could actually be so expensive. And I found this corset brand on like loads of Instagram pages. And this is some French corset brand called Cadol. Cadol, there you go, if you could see it. Cadol. And their corsets were literally around 500. 800 1000 pounds i was like oh my god i want one just to see why it's so expensive so i found this on ebay for 20 pounds hooray so i'm keeping this i don't know what i'm gonna wear it with but i'm keeping it but yeah just so much expense so i'm not gonna show you i just wanted to show you that bit oh this bra actually is la perla and i purchased this in winners which is like tk max or tg max in canada it's so nice on and this one has actually maintained its condition as opposed to this La Perla and this bra cost me 30 Canadian dollars and it's the more like the more expensive La Perla brand out of all of them because I know they have like another La Perla La Agent or something or is that Agent Provocateur I can't remember but anyways so we are keeping all of this or oh, I might get rid of it but on my own then I have some belts in here which is just cheap Zara belts I'm not really too bad big on buying belts my friends gave me these are like we don't want these brand belts. You don't have any belts, you have them. So I'm keeping the belts in case I end up using the belts. This is a scarf. That's I'm gonna sell it, I don't need it. And then this is just a gray scarf. I'm gonna sell it. And then let's see, these are little Lululemon shorts, keeping those. We've got a Sandro skirt right here. This skirt actually looks so nice on and it's quite chunky. And I love the detail at the side right there. So, oh, yeah. so we're going to keep that. Let's see what else we've got in here. These are Laura Piano boots. They are really nice. Oh, look what's happened. Okay, so suede boots, about a 10 centimeter heel. I always get like rubber put on my soles right there because then their leather soles and then the quality just deteriorates. You like put them on once and they look like they've been worn many times when they haven't. And then like a nice black suede, they were purchased about five years ago. Um, I do even have the original box and everything for them. But look what I just noticed on the bag. You see these really like kind of popular toggles for Laura Piano, which is when you buy like the summer walk shoes or whatever. And, and like the toggles are so popular. And then um, look what's happened. I literally just noticed that it looks like there's some glue or whatever on there. Now, I have no idea why that happened. Literally, it's not like you have glue on your fingers and then you're closing your zip. You consciously know if you have glue on your fingers. So this is again what I'm talking about, quality deteriorating. And of course, like it's easy to say, well, that only happens on cheap clothing like Zara. And I did used to think like that, but now actually, I think that quality deteriorates across all designers. And this is just an example of Laura Piano boots, which were approximately 1,800 pounds. And as you can see, they are very much in perfect condition. I think I probably only worn them 10 times maximum for like just going into the car and then going to like dinner or whatever, and then coming back in the car. And then look what happened to those little toggles, which like are important for Laura Piano. Like anyway, it's like buying a Chanel bag without the CC logo. It's like, of course it's important. And then let's see what else we have in here. Uh, let's see, let's see. And it's, I don't know the design. It's like Gianni Chirani made in Italy. It's a really lovely bag. And before I was really just into, not into, but I only purchased designer handbags because I didn't see the point of like buying something for like 50 pounds and then not it being designer. 
because even I thought I would rather save up for like a thousand pounds and then buy something but lately I have changed my mind so not not completely on everything but this is quite a nice bag you know what? I'm just gonna keep it so it's so nice so and the reason I've changed my mind is because I've noticed that with very high-end designers which I do have the quality of them has just deteriorated a lot and I have especially noticed in the kind of production. So for example, a little Chanel wallet on chain that I purchased 10 years ago in black. I then purchased the same about four years ago in white and I compared the two. The zips in the newer one were not as good as in the previous one, the toggles and everything basically. And I bought them both from Chanel Direct. But basically, if I was to see that white bag, the one that I bought five years later, in a charity shop, I would think it was fake. That's why I thought, oh my God, the quality is deteriorating. So you know what? I'd rather not spend 2,000 on a Chanel, have something like this for 50 euros, for 50 pounds, and have the other money to use elsewhere, to invest, to save up for property and so forth. So I am a bit more, I've changed my attitude when it comes to buying designer goods then we have the chanel's so this is a calf skin chanel handbag it's from the 2014 collection and what i really love uh, so it's like a burgundy color what i really love is this zip pod on it right there because it just makes it really secure and i absolutely love this bag it goes with everything it's more or less um, maintained it's and by the way, I am always so careful with my bags. Most of them are boxed. I just don't have my, my boxes with me. They're in storage. But most of them are like, I look after them so well. So that's another reason why they look like they're very well maintained because they are. So that's one of them. And then let's see what else I have. Okay, so I have a couple more. So this is my kind of, my humbug baby. I absolutely love this one. Now this one is so rare to have because they don't make the little kind of square. So this is a classic flap Chanel in a square shape and they no longer make them in caviar, which is the most durable leather that Chanel does. And I absolutely love this one. It was purchased in 2016. And from like even now, sometimes when I go in to see if they have any of them, like in a different color, like red, blue, whatever. I would love them in any color, they never have them. So this is a really lovely little bag. But again, when I mentioned quality deteriorating, so you see the Chanel logo, I don't know if you can make it out on camera, but this bit here that you would like use to open in and out, this, the gold has like deteriorated, it's turned silver. So when I see that, I'm like, okay, like why would that happen? This is like cheap hardware, so, not saying that I don't love this and I wouldn't buy another one in caviar if I seen it for a reasonable price. Not like, because sometimes you find them on like the secondhand market and they're like so overpriced just because they don't have them anymore. But that's that's why I'm like, you know what, I'm quite happy for with 50 euros for that as opposed to 2000 for this when you can see the hardware is going. And then another one is a very classic flat bag which is in a uh, medium to large size. It's in black caviar leather, again, the most durable. It's got silver hardware. I've maintained it more or less very well. The only thing is I can't, I've lost the authenticity card for it, which is so annoying because I'm generally a person who likes to keep all those cards. And it's a really lovely bag. This bag was purchased in two, oh look, I found money in my bag. How much do I have? 15 pounds yeah isn't it nice finding money in your bag so i bought this bag in 2013 there you go this bag is 10 years old and it's absolutely beautiful and this has gone up in value so much so at the time this bag was 3300 whereas now 2023 prices this bag is eight and a half thousand pounds now that's a huge appreciation in value so yeah really love that bag definitely not getting rid of it as well and i think that's it for that part of the things so now i'm gonna put everything back in my wardrobe that i am keeping and we can move on to my final gym uh, gym drawer this is the lululemon hat which i bought recently it fits so well i'm keeping it this is a cat cat hat cat in the hat 
this is a hat I bought in Canada recently. It's no fancy designer. I bought it from Win Marshalls, Marshalls, but it's so tight in my head, it gives me a headache. Definitely getting rid of that. These are Ugg gloves. And you know what, it does get so cold, but even when I wear the Uggs, my hands are still cold. I am such a cold person, I get cold so easily, I need to live in a warm country. You know what, I'm go if I try and sell these, my mum will tell me off and she'll say, you need those gloves to keep you warm, so we're keeping them. Oh yes, I remember this, so this is um, this is Gian, Gian Battista Villa for H&M, and this is like a little bag that you would put your card in. Now, I always thought it was so funny, people wearing these bags, hold on, sorry, because it's like, you can't fit a phone inside or anything, it's literally just for your cards. But look, it's so tiny, it's like a wallet on there. But then I saw this when thrifting for like literally 10 pounds and I thought it's, it's like brand new with the tag, so I'm gonna buy it, but to be honest, I don't know if I actually need it. You see, it's like, impulsive buy especially if you knew you didn't like them in the past so you know what i think i'm just gonna do the clever option the realistic option is to get rid of it so we're getting rid of that and then the final drawer that i wanted to look through was my gym gear now i have quite an unhealthy obsession with lululemon and this is just the start of it of everything i have in here so i wanted to go through everything and see what i need so I recently bought these uh, shorts. I actually found them on Vinted for six pounds, including delivery, which was amazing. So keeping those, these, let's see. I am keeping those. This is all Lululemon, by the way. Most of it's Lululemon. This is like a black shirt from Lululemon. It's got that bra support right there. And then this just hangs. To be honest, I don't really like this. So we're gonna sell that. These are just little black shorts. I, I can't remember the design and my friend gave me, oh, Abercrombie and Finch. My friend just gave me them. So um, I won't really get that much money for them. So we'll leave those. These are Lululemon cream pants. I really do like these, even though I think I've only worn them a couple of times, but I'm just gonna leave them. And then let's see what else. Ooh, these are quite nice. Navy Lululemons right there. But, and like, but, but, there's always a but. Can you see the design bit on there? Now, I have had one of these in the past and these ripped so easily. So for that reason, I don't wanna kind of wait for it to rip. So I will sell them, goodbye. Oh, this is a white Lululemon bra. And you know what? I would advise never to sell like st some pieces like whites, blacks, nudes that you can wear many times again because it's such a staple piece. So we're gonna leave that. These are Lululemons. They are a size. I think they are a size UK 8, which is a bit big for me. And again, I feel frumpy when I wear them. They're like that. So you know what? I think I will sell them because we need to feel good when we wear things. This is a little skirt with shorts from Spanx and I decided to keep it because I'm not really a fan of really, really, really tight shorts for exercises. Um, in public places like if you're at home like you can be doing it almost naked apart from the bra support that you need but in public places I like to have like my bum covered and I'm very proud like I'm proud of my body I'm happy with my body but it's just like a personal preference you know so I bought that with even though I haven't worn it I literally bought it like a month ago these are Spanx leggings they are so comfortable on so nice on so I am definitely keeping those these are Lululemon. They're kind of like a purpley color. I suppose I do like them. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep them. But again, they're not really that that special. And this is like, um, this is reflective for when you're running. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of them. You know, it's important to like the stuff that you have. This is Nike. I think I'm just gonna keep it. It's nice, long, keeps me warm. These are Sweaty Betty leggings. They're quite like that mix there. And you know what, I think I will sell them just because I have noticed with some of my sweaty betty leggings is that they've started to like, some of the details have peeled off. And in order to avoid that happening, I will get rid of them and then not feel bad. Now these little lemons, I absolutely love. I love the colors, they're so nice. And they look absolutely amazing on. So I am definitely keeping those. And then I bought these wide leg gray trousers in Canada from Lululemon. 
and I thrifted these and they look absolutely amazing on the booty and I'm keeping them and they would look really good with this white jumper which I also bought in Canada this is a lululemon kind of turtleneck which looks amazing on and then we have what is this this is a lululemon with bra support top i do like this but i don't know it's quite long because all the leggings will go up to your belly button so what's the point of putting an extra layer then on your tummy get rid of it then we have this bra i've had it for such a long time it's such a good fit i'm just keeping it and then we have, ooh, this. We bought this from Lululemon and it's a crop. And I do like it, but it's so tight on the neck. It's like way too tight. It's my size. I don't know why it's so tight, but it's just, oh, uh, you can't speak. So I am sadly gonna get rid of this. Otherwise, I do like it. Okay, what else? This is a sweaty bitty bra in a very dark, burgundy violet color it's absolutely in perfect condition but i don't like the color and a lot of the time i will wear my leggings just with the bra so i don't really have that many leggings that match another thing is if matching for you you enjoy matching but your the outfits don't match then get rid of the bits that don't match keep the bits that will go with everything and i don't think this goes with everything so goodbye this i absolutely love i thrifted this this is a sweaty betty top and I absolutely love the design at the back because I, I will be wearing a sports bra with it but look at the back so nice and like the little strings at the bottom it's very cute very girly and I love that this is a lululemon white top I do like it but again it's the same thing with the black it's low and my leggings are high so it has to go then this I really like now this is a better version of basically that top it's like it is a bra but it's it can fall into like a crop top section I suppose and it's got that bra support there and I really love it it's a really nice color as well it will go with black with navy with purple so we are keeping that another white lululemon bra I'm keeping that definitely this is like a black lululemon like thing to go on top and it's so figure gripping it's like that scuba design there this the lululemon it looks so nice on and then here what is this what is this what are you oh what is this what size is it size six so this is a lululemon white top to be honest i don't really see the purpose of it anymore so we're getting rid of it this is just like an h&m hoodie i'm keeping to keep warm in and then Look at my shorts. So I painted most of this flat in these shorts and you can see that video on my channel. So of course they have hard work, sentimental memories in it that transform my flat and how on earth would I ever be able to sell these? But they fit amazingly on so I keep them for home workouts. That's another thing. It's like don't just run away for the sake of it. If you can do it at home, why not? then this is a black lulu lemon it's not like a yeah it's like a I'm not sure whether it's a hoodie because it doesn't have a cut it's like a cardigan and it just zips like to the chest area and that's it i do like it so i'm gonna keep it and i think that's about it there's just some lulu lemon bags in there so this is what we're gonna keep look at that fits perfectly in more or less folded i do have a couple of stuff in here so for example recently I bought this Lululemon top, absolutely love it. So this is a much better version top to have with um, high-waisted leggings because then it doesn't really go with the leggings. You don't even need to show your tummy if you if you prefer not showing your tummy, if you don't like showing your tummy, but like that will still cover it. And this is just a lot of like, just plain like little summer tops that sadly I haven't had that much of an opportunity to wear. Actually, I will get rid of this. This is free people and it's still can you see it's still got its tag on have not worn it yet and it's a bodysuit and i think because it doesn't have anything to cover like for the boobs it basically falls all the way to the end it's like probably have to wear a pin with it or something or risk the girlies falling out so i will get rid of that this is a little zara top it's a size medium it is nice i think i'm i'm gonna leave it even though it's a bit baggy there so but yeah there's just boring stuff in there which i think we this video has been going on for long enough 
So this is what I have. Oh, this is a big Lululemon leather bag, which I thrifted. I think it's more or less a vintage one. It's leather there. I love this for travels. It's got two sections and I don't even use this for gym stuff at all. I put my laptop in one section, then any like really important stuff that I just can't have been lost in, um, in checked luggage. So I'm definitely keeping this is that that was just because I don't have anywhere else to put it. So this is everything that I will be getting rid of. And again, not rid of in the bin because that's just an absolute waste. We should not be doing that. I think our first option is to try and sell it. And then we look at um, secondhand platforms such as eBay, Vinted, Versatile Collective, Real Real, Poshmark, Rebel, or any other. There's so many other websites, but those are kind of the very, very big ones in the US and in Europe. So then we would look at those stores. We can also look at consignment stores. So if you don't want the hassle of putting things online yourself and then dealing with like sending it off and everything and say the person complains because of this or that and you want to give it to a consignment store, consignment stores will not accept everything. For example, they will not accept this Uniqlo jumper because it's not of a high end enough brand for them. And they will probably not accept this long champ jacket, even though it is a quite a good designer, but because it has long champ missing there, they will not accept it. But what they will accept for sure is things like this Joseph, this um, La Gen. So basically I think all like Marge for sure they'll accept. Claudia Prelea probably be better off dry cleaning it or just like washing that Can you see the tags a bit like dirty there. So as long as the clothing is at, um, like not high, so I don't know how to describe it, but like say this jacket is around 250 pounds. So as long as it's in that price bracket, if not more, because of course they would prefer like a Dior jacket instead, you you could be, um, you could get money for this in consignment. But again, they don't, most of the time you bring your clothes to them. They will pick out what they want. If everything goes some parts, then they will tell you the price that you will get for them. Usually a lot of the time it's like, Say they price something at hundred pounds and you get 50 pounds for it or 40 pounds. So they'll take like a 50% or a 60% commission off there. And then if it sells, then you get your money. But if it doesn't sell, usually collect it at the end of the season. So first of all, I will probably put this online to sell. And if it doesn't sell within about two months, I will then take it to the consignment store. Again, with consignment stores, they do work like all other shops in terms of season. So if it is the summer, most likely, for sure, I know they will not accept this jacket, even though it's a really lovely Burberry jacket. They will just say, bring it back when it's the right season. So do bear that in mind. So that's kind of, I think my first option is to try and of course sell it, get some money back for it that I can. And I think there is quite a lot of money to get back. Like for example, this Burberry jacket, I would sell for 500 pounds just because I paid over a thousand pounds for it. So a lot of the time we think that all this stuff can just go, but actually a lot of it has a lot of value. So on this trail alone, I'd probably say there's around at least one and a half thousand pounds. Then over here, I would say there's at least 500 pounds of stuff that I can make, if not more. And of course you need to do things like photograph it well, describe it, I don't know, add some measurements. Um, yeah, so, but if you're not really maybe into that, if you, I don't know, have friends or whatever, and if you're comfortable selling things to your friends, for example, I don't know, they've always really wanted a Burberry jacket and you're like, you know what, you can have it for 100 pounds, then you could do that. Of course, this depends on your situation with money and everything, but my first point is, of course, to sell all of this. Occasional pieces I do give to charity, but a lot of the time it's things like books, um, kids clothing, and a lot of the time kids clothing I buy like nice, not expensive Burberry designer kids clothing, but like kids, like nice kid brands. So a lot of the time, actually, I would sell those as well once they become too small. So charity, I would give like books, really used shoes, or um, something that I would just not sell online, like, I don't know, plates or whatever. Um, and otherwise, I would just prefer to give a cash donation to charity if I ever, like, if I'm in a situation where charity is being given. And this, I would prefer to sell. So from here, we have cleared half of the rail, which is really good. We haven't done much with the bags, but to be honest, I have already had big bag clear outs about two years ago. So very much there is a very downsized collection. And then over here, we did a lot less, but still we got rid of about one third of stuff, which is not bad. 
and we took some stuff from the top and we more we did about 30% off my uh, gym drawer as well so I think overall this has been a really good decluttering session of course the more stuff you have the more you the more you can declutter I hope you really like this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to the channel it's been a real pleasure after you do all this decluttering I just feel so happy because I realized that and this is not that this made me happy before but I, the, the slightly older that you get the more responsibilities that you have for example from being with your parents when you're 18 being on your own later and having your own child is that all of these things are actually less and less less important especially when they're just sitting in your wardrobe and not making you money you'd be better off saving your money buying yourself a tiny little flat somewhere and renting that out and generating an income as opposed to keeping all this which is like dead cash in your wardrobe so this is always a really nice process especially because it's also been recycled whether that's going to a new person somebody else new buying and wearing it so it's very much environmental friendly as well so it's a win-win for everybody thank you so much for watching subscribe i know i've said it but don't forget to subscribe please and i'll see you in the next video i'm wishing you a lovely day and an awesome time decluttering when you get round to it. Bye-bye.